See one of those heads that uh, Spirit of Halloween is selling? I may have bought one. Uh, hang on, hang on. Uh, don't kill me just yet. I have, a, I have an explanation. So before I say anything, I, let me just make it clear. I don't support big companies getting in and ruining the furry fandom forever. I think that is a problem and it should be addressed. But I will say I can see a use for this thing. Um, it may not be as high quality as another fursuit, with this one being the exception. I think it's honestly kind of a decent attempt at an amateur fursuit project. I think um, what you could do with it is probably use it as a base for something. Maybe take some markers and like have it with some things like that, right? Now, from what I can tell, this doesn't steal anyone's character, so that makes it even better. I would still recommend the marker method just to, um, you know, just to keep things I would still recommend the marker method just to make sure it's more original than it should be. But other than that, I think it's a, you know, good attempt. Do I think this hurts the furry community? Um, I don't know, and I don't really think so. Put simply because it's a, I think it's just a mask that looks like a fox, essentially. I think this is a fox. It says on the tag it's a fox. Hard to see. But, you know, if you're interested, go pick one up. But be wary, they're expensive. Uh, this little guy cost me about 60 bucks plus tax. I'm sorry, I need to drop something. Seriously, why are you 60 bucks? Just saying. Anyway, um, that's my opinion on this. Uh, yours may change. I'm Emily the Big Tim Monk and...